Wesley Snipes Wesley Trent Snipes, born on July 31, 1962, is an American actor and martial artist renowned for his action films. He has showcased his versatility in thrillers, dramas, and comedies. Snipes earned an Independent Spirit Award nomination for his role in The Water Dance, 1992, and won the Volpe Cup for Best Actor for One Night Stand, 1997. Beginning his acting career with a 1984 appearance on All My Children, his early film roles included Wildcats and Streets of Gold, 1986. In the 1990s, he gained prominence with films like New Jack City, 1991, White Men Can't Jump, 1992, Passenger 57, 1992, Rising Sun, 1993, Demolition Man, 1993, To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything. Julie Newmar, 1995, and U.S. Marshals, 1998. He achieved significant fame portraying Eric Brooks slash Blade in the Blade series, 1998, 2002, 2004, based on the Marvel comic superhero. Net worth. Wesley Snipes has an estimated net worth of $20 million. He has accumulated this impressive sum from his acting career, lucrative endorsements, and business ventures. Early life. Wesley Snipes was born in Orlando, Florida, to Marion, a teacher's assistant, and Wesley Rudolph Snipes, an aircraft engineer. He spent his childhood in the Bronx, New York, and attended the Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts. However, he moved back to Florida before graduating. Snipes completed his high school education at Jones High School in Orlando then returned to New York to earn a bachelor's degree in fine arts from the State University of New York at Purchase. He also studied at Southwestern College in California. Personal Life Wesley Snipes has been married twice. His first marriage to April Snipes produced a son, Jelani, who appeared in Snipes' film, Mo Better Blues. In 2003, he married painter Nick Young, Nikki, Park Snipes, with whom he has four children. Snipes also has a son living in British Columbia, Canada. Raised as a Christian, Snipes converted to Islam in 1978 but left the faith in 1988, stating that Islam increased his self-awareness and dignity. His New York City apartment was destroyed in the September 11th attacks while he was on the West Coast. Besides that, Wesley Snipes began his martial arts training at the age of 12. He holds a fifth-degree black belt in Shotokan Karate and a second-degree black belt in Hapkido. Additionally, he has trained in capoeira under Mestre Jelen Vieira, as well as Kung Fu at the USA Shaolin Temple, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and kickboxing. While in New York, he received fighting training from his friend and mentor, Brooke Ellis. Professional Career At 23, Wesley Snipes was discovered by an agent during a competition. His film debut came in 1986 with Wildcats, followed by a role as a drug-dealing pimp on Miami Vice the same year. In 1987, he appeared as Michael Jackson's rival in the Bad music video directed by Martin Scorsese and in Streets of Gold. Snipes was considered for the role of Geordie LaForge in Star Trek, The Next Generation, but lost to LeVar Burton, and he auditioned for The Last Dragon, but the role went to Timok. Snipes' performance in Bad impressed Spike Lee, leading to roles in Mo Better Blues and Jungle Fever. After Jungle Fever, he was acclaimed as the most celebrated new actor of the season by the Washington Post. He also appeared in King of New York and New Jack City, written specifically for him. His action film credits include Passenger 57, Rising Sun, Demolition Man, and U.S. Marshals. He also starred in comedies like White Men Can't Jump and To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. In 1997, Snipes won the Best Actor Volpe Cup at the Venice Film Festival for One Night Stand. His biggest commercial success came with Blade in 1998, grossing over $150 million worldwide and launching a franchise. Snipes received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and an honorary doctorate from SUNY slash Purchase. He reprised his role in Blade, Trinity, 2004, which he also produced, but later sued the studio over salary and creative disputes settling out of court. Snipes starred in The Contractor, Gallo Walkers, and Game of Death. Due to tax issues, he had to leave Spike Lee's Miracle at St. Anna, with Derek Luke taking his place. He made a comeback in Brooklyn's Finest, 2009, and appeared in The Expendables 3, 2014. 
His role as Derville Martin in Dolmite Is My Name earned him critical praise and award nominations. Besides that, in the late 1990s, Wesley Snipes and his brother established a security firm, the Royal Guard of AIM NRA, which provided bodyguards trained in law enforcement and martial arts for VIPs. AIM NRA was also the name of Snipes' film company, which produced its first film, A Great and Mighty Walk, Dr. John Henry Clark, in 1996. In 2000, Snipes' business faced scrutiny for alleged connections to the United Nawabian Nation of Moors. It was revealed that Snipes had considered purchasing 200 acres of land near the Nawabian Tomaree compound in Putnam County, Georgia, to set up a business academy. Both Snipes' business and the Nawabians used Egyptian symbols. However, Snipes and his brother ultimately did not purchase the land and instead established their company in Florida, Antigua, and Africa. In 2005, Snipes entered negotiations to fight Joe Rogan on Ultimate Fighting Match, but the deal did not materialize. In 2010, Snipes co-created the sci-fi comic After Dark with Antoine Fuqua, and in 2017, he debuted as a novelist with Talon of God, an urban fantasy supernatural adventure. He returned to comics in 2022 with The Exiled. Legal Issues In 2008, Wesley Snipes was convicted of willful failure to file federal income tax returns, resulting in a three-year prison sentence. Despite an unsuccessful appeal, he served 28 months and was released in April 2013. The charges stemmed from a 2006 indictment accusing Snipes, Eddie Raycon, and Douglas P. Rosal of conspiracy to defraud the United States and making false claims for tax refunds totaling over $11 million. Snipes also faced charges for failing to file tax returns from 1999 to 2004. He declared himself a non-resident alien, a tactic linked to sovereign citizen strategies, but was ultimately acquitted of conspiracy and false claim charges, while convicted on three misdemeanor counts. His co-defendants received longer sentences. The U.S. Court of Appeals upheld Snipes' convictions in 2010. In 2018, the U.S. tax court ruled against Snipes in a case involving $23.5 million in tax liabilities. Awards Wesley Snipes has received numerous awards and nominations throughout his career. He won a Cable ACE Award for Best Actor in Vietnam War Story and an Image Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in New Jack City. He earned the Gold Special Jury Award for The Water Dance and was nominated for an Independent Spirit Award for the same film. Snipes won the Volpe Cup for Best Actor at the Venice Film Festival for One Night Stand. He also received a Blockbuster Entertainment Award for Blade and was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. His role in Dolmite Is My Name earned him multiple nominations and wins, including a Black Reel Award. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.